Jay Kraft joining me from Aqualock. Thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, of course, of course. Been filling in for John Ramsey all week, and it's been a lot of fun being with you guys all week. And again, there's been a lot of rain <laughs> that we've had in this community. And <clears throat> excuse me. I know that you have felt it in your business. Talk to me about the impact that all of the rain has had for Aqualock and the community as a whole. Well, the phone rings off the hook, obviously, <laughs> nonstop. Um, but no, the, the um, you know, we have rain like that. The ground has been particularly damp this year to begin with, so that water has a hard time getting down into the earth and dissipating properly. So what happens is it builds up around the foundations, and you may have um, just a small leak in an area, you may have a whole wall, you know, you may have a, a variety of issues that can uh, come up from having, you know, four inches of rain, you know, in an hour and a half or well, two. It's got to go somewhere, right? I mean, the it, water, the, what does it say? They say it finds the least resistance, is that right? the least resistance, okay. water's a lazy substance, yes. Oh, there you go. See, yes, I made myself sound <laughs> smart there. Okay, so waterproofing, obviously, a huge part of what Aqualock does, but just give me a little bit of company background and just the wide range of things you guys do. Yeah, we, um, um, I've been waterproofing proofing myself for over 25 years um, and wherever there's water there's typically mold um, and wherever there's mold there's usually been some water so we also do mold inspections mold remediation um, and because we're in foundations um, we're also dealing with radon um, we do crawl space reconditioning um, we do peering if your house is beginning to settle um, we can pick the house up we can we can um, so get that foundation sitting on a solid, you know, uh, uh, stable setting, um, and we also do wall tiebacks. Um, anything that has to do with the foundation, we'll get involved with to just make it uh, um, maintained. What's well, amazing, we're looking at some before and afters right now. I mean, it, like you said, water is a lazy substance, but it also can be a nasty substance when it's left in the wrong place, right? I mean, look at look at some of these befores and afters. Tell tell our viewers at home what we're looking at. Um, this is a crawl space that we did. It was right down on the Ohio River where um, they were having a problem with uh, musty odors in the crawl space. The crawl space itself did not have a leak, but earth is inherently damp and cool. Um, people never know whether they should leave their vents opened or closed um, so they don't touch them. And, and then all of a sudden we've got hot air on a day like today, all that humid air comes in and comes in contact with that cool uh, in the crawl space. That raises the relative humidity in the crawl space. As air evaporates, it goes up, it gets, comes in contact with the joists of the crawl space. It turns into mold or musty odors and then that gets up into the house. And then all of a sudden somebody, um, they may have a cough in the morning um, or maybe they just have a an odor that they just can't shake and Febreze just isn't enough to take care of it we get a phone call we'll go out send somebody in that crawl space um, we'll take some pictures for them um, start to document what's going on and kind of show them what's going on uh, it, and I just think it's so interesting with the encapsulation I mean a lot of people they don't know they have that I mean like you said they're they're coughing in the morning maybe or they don't feel great or it smells bad when you go down there and most people don't even want to look in there, is that right? But when you do, you feel something different and you smell something different. Absolutely. I've had grown men tell me that there's no way in the world they're getting in that crawl space. <laughs> I had a homeowner earlier this week that would ref she refused to go near the crawl space. She wanted nothing to do with it. Uh, and then once we'd encapsulated it, she was very excited about being able to store her Christmas decorations in it. So it's even storage opportunity once it's finished. We can raise the usable square footage. <laughs> we love that. We love that. That, that is huge. Uh, again, Again, that's encapsulating crawl spaces. I feel like a lot of people, that's something that they need to know about uh, because it not only impacts you know the storage and all that, but most importantly, your health. Well, fresh air today is becoming a very uh, big issue. Indoor air is five to ten times more polluted than outdoor air because of our you know the, the Tyvek wrap on the houses and the windows are double and triple pane. And so what's happening is is we're trapping a lot of that air inside the house. And if you haven't had your crawl space checked out, you don't know what's down there, and that air is getting into the home. And then you're breathing that air, and you're weakening the substructure of the home. Um, and again, the only, uh, I guess, safe place you can go that at that point is out of the house. Not safe, I'm not, I'm, uh, that's not the word I want to use, but it's just 
more comfortable outside your right. home than it is inside and your home. And that's a problem. And you want, you know, the home's supposed to be your getaway, your safe place. Exactly. And so you got to make it that way. Exactly. So let's, uh, you, you came bearing gifts today, as you always do when you come <laughs> on the show, which we really appreciate. Tell our folks at home about the Wave 3 Listens Live deal of the day. Yeah, we're offering a $500 uh, customer credit. Um, if you use it at the time of the inspection, just, just tell us that uh, you saw us on, uh, on Listens Live and, and we'll knock $500 off the price. And you can use that on a waterproofing system or you can use it on an encapsulation for a crawl space. Either way, uh, we're happy to help out. Um, for the folks that don't need full systems, Tell us you saw us on Listens Live, and we'll knock 10% off uh, of that price. Oh, look as well. at that! You're doing that too. What a what a guy! That's awesome. That's really awesome. And again, $500. That's that's a chunk of change. So if you need that new system, or if you want that crawl space encapsulation, want to breathe some clear cleaner air, you should do that. So let's switch back to waterproofing back for a second. Sure. So all the rain going on, as we talked about, the water's got to go somewhere. So let's say somebody's at home right now that's watching, and they walk down to the basement, for example, after one of those heavy downpours or multiple heavy downpours that we've had lately. What should they be looking for other than obviously water? I mean, do, does it matter if it's a little stream? I mean, just kind of take me through that process. They really should be looking behind things. You know, we store a lot of things in the basement or, you know, in a mechanical room or something like that. Just take a flashlight or pull some things away and, and see if you're not seeing any staining on any of the belongings. Um, I've picked up cardboard boxes off from a floor and had the whole bottom fall right out and the well, person was convinced they didn't have any water in their basement. Well, the, the cardboard was so wet that it was just, it was just obvious at that point. Um, bugs congregating in a corner can be a sign of moisture. Uh, if you are noticing any what looks like a musty or mildew in the corners or along the bottom of the basement floor uh, where the wall meets the floor, that's a great indication that there's moisture in the area. Um, dry rotted tack strip, staining in the bottom of paneling, um, staining on the bottom of the doorway, all of these things indicate that there's moisture without having physical water. That's unbelievable. And you fix that. That's a good thing at Aqualock. Today's special $500 off a full system, waterproofing or encapsulation. Jay, thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. Aqualock, aqualock.com. We'll see you tomorrow.